What's up everyone, it's AD The Chosen One. I'm back here with another fitness video. Today I'm gonna give you all an MMA workout. I'm gonna be training full MMA workout. I just got out here. I'm gonna vlog every single thing I do. I'm gonna give you guys a little backup um, story. So right now it's around six o'clock. This video is gonna be up around seven something, maybe eight. 5 a.m. this morning came out here, MMA training session, 7 a.m fitness training session back out here i said because we're going to record another mma session okay so let's get it i'm gonna um show you guys a, a few things i do to kind of build my accuracy up and you know um obviously it's not going to be everything you know i have a different days i train different things um sometimes i'm training out here with fitness and mma sometimes i'm doing sparring sessions so yeah but here it is thank you for watching let's get it okay everyone now to start off we're going to start off with slight targeting slash accuracy and movement practice so our goal is to tag the pole with very great um, amount of movement. Um, so high value of movement and high volume of tags. Okay, so we're not hard down hitting the pole. That's for later. But right now we're going to tag the pole with the movements. And this is kind of like a setup shot in a um, MMA match, you know. So I'm not always throwing power hits. Sometimes I'm going, I'm doing a setup. I'm tagging you and then a power hit, whichever way I want to go. All right, so. Uh, let's do some movement and some slight tags up here on the pole, and we'll, we'll move from there. Okay, y'all, this is the second part of the workout. Thanks for being here if you made it this far. Now, we just did tags and movement. This time, we only want significant shots. We're gonna go for quote unquote power shots, okay? Significant, they have to, they have to connect. Let's get into it. Okay guys, now that right there was punching practice, targeting with the punches. Now we're gonna throw some knees in there, some elbows gonna back up from there. We'll throw some kicks in there. So this right here is more of a um, Muay Thai kind of thing. We're gonna throw some elbows, some knees, some kicks. Then we're gonna practice some more kicks, get off the pole, and we have a lot more. I'm um, gonna do some groundwork too. Stay tuned, let's get it. Okay, everyone, that was the punching and kicking. Just a little bit of stand up. Um, still working, still progressing on that. Um, I train, I, I train, I've trained myself, you know, so all this right here is natural training, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just right out here working. But so now we're on groundwork. Now, let's say you happen to take your ambulance. <laughs> Let God help whoever that is. 
in need of the ambulance. <laughs> but so if you happen to take your opponent out with basic wrestling or maybe some judo or whatever, if, if, if somebody if someone trips and falls, whatever, and if you're on the ground, here it is. So first of all, you have to be in control. I have a sack control, have half guard, top mount, field guard, whatever, but you cannot do this on your back. So so let's assume again, basic wrestling or judo, somehow you're on top, okay? Now if I'm here. Oh yeah, by the way, so we're gonna train movement on the ground and ground and pound, all right? So if I'm here right here, now, thank is, let's say if my opponent is right here and I'm top mount, right? He's gonna try to get out of me, either under there, he's gonna go over there, he's gonna maybe throw some back to her side of the work, okay? Wherever they move, I block that, okay? So let's do basic ground and pound, all right? So if I'm here, now, I don't have to be on my knees, I can be uh, either Knee to their knee, I can do one leg up. I can come over here. If I'm in side control, I can come right here, right here. Switch over, get a good submission in. Whatever position you're comfortable in, again, where you are in control. Like, don't do this when you are not in control. You know, I mean? you know, if you don't have basic defense on the ground, then work on that and then we'll do the offense, okay? So we're here right now for the ground and pound. And you don't want to throw small shots. You want to load up, <laughs> throw some hammer fists. Throw some elbows. Got some of the elbows just did on the stand up. You can do these on the ground as well. We're right here. Elbows. Oh, boom, boom, boom. But I'm not just here. I'm moving. Boom. Because they're gonna try to get out of here. So my thing is, if I'm on the ground, I'm here. I'm moving. I'm moving wherever they are. Okay. So now, usually, usually I do this with the training partner where. One person's on the ground, I'm grinding pound, I'm moving. Then the other says, move, I move. He say sprints, I goes down there and sprint. I'm back here on my opponent. So let me show you guys how that looks, okay? So let's say I went down there and sprinting, all right? And now I come back here, I'm back, I'm here. On my opponent, grinding pound. Oh, move, oh, 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 and move, oh. That's how that looks, okay? Now this will lead you a long way. If you're on the ground, you need basic offense. This is that, okay? So we're gonna do a few things right here. The next up, we're gonna practice some more stand up and maybe move from there. Let's get it. Okay, so we've done punching, another punch exercise with some kicks in there, some Muay Thai. We've done groundwork and now we're gonna do another kick exercise. We're gonna do walking kicks forward, okay? So we're gonna um so we're gonna mainly be throwing some front kicks. You guys may see some jump kicks in there, but we're gonna walk forward, okay? And this is to also you know in a lot of MMA fights, if if one thing people mistake is that they think every hit intention is to be a hit. You know, some things are to create um, distance from your opponent, you know, it's not always to knock them out, you know, um, some things is just to touch them up before the big hit, you know, you got some setup combos, you know, create space to feel like you're in trouble, you know, so these, these are the moves we're doing, so we're not just trying to beat our opponent down, we're trying to get the technical part right, we're trying to, so we're not just trying to beat our opponent down on the ground, we're trying to block him from getting up and being able to beat us, okay, so these are technical things, all right, so we're going to do some walking forward, quick, forward, forward kicks, other than we have one more exercise we're going to do, that work with your punches so we'll move from there i may throw a few workouts in there thanks for watching um you guys let me down below if you guys like to see more mma content you know i, I feel real confident i feel real confident with just with this fighting content you know obviously i'm gonna keep the fitness content co coming you know you can't be a fighter without being in shape being fit <laughs> fighter fitness fight fit <laughs> it goes together but um of course the flips and videos gonna keep coming so I'm doing everything. Just let me know. <laughs> hey, you might see a little bit more acting. You never know. But let me know what y'all think. It's cold out here. Oh, I'm sniffing. It's cold out here. We're still getting in. So let's get these front kicks in. Let's get it.
Okay, you, you guys have seen that. I think this is a great workout so far. We're getting stuff done now. For the last one, we're gonna do um, stance work. We're gonna do stance and stability work. So we're gonna squat down low. We're gonna keep this stance. We're gonna attack from there. So we're not moving much, you know. Um, we're really only moving our abdominal and our quads and hamstrings and our calf, our whole lower leg, our glutes are gonna support us standing in that squat position while we attack, okay? While we throw combos, okay? So. Let's get that in. And by the way, these workouts are useful. You know, I've used these in matches. I've learned these from other top fighters, you know, not just UFC, you know, uh, maybe some boxers, you know, and maybe some wrestlers as well, too. You know, this is like, so not just MMA. This is like, you know, basic hand to hand combat stuff, you know, some basic moves that you can do to defend yourself. You know, I'm sure not a lot of people want to be a MMA fighter, but, you know, it's useful to defend yourself, you know, and, and it's fun. It's fun fitness, you know. So you guys know I'm big on fun fitness, you know. Um, so yeah, fun and serious, down and dirty, progress. <laughs> that's what that's what I'm into. Okay. So we're here. Enough talking. Last and final workout. Thanks for watching. Let's. Get Okay, you all, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Let me down below in the comments what you guys think about this video. If you think others will like it, share it as well. You know, uh, we're out here. So that's for today's video. It's Sunday night. More great content coming um, this weekend, you know. And if you're watching this on the weekend, maybe, I mean, the weekdays later, I meant more day content, more great content coming on the weekdays. So if you're watching this on the weekdays, it's probably already mug content up, so check it out. We're out here. Just got done filming. Um, so that was a full workout, you know. I didn't do anything before. I warmed up, obviously. Please warm up. You know, I did some push-ups, some pull-ups, some stretches, and a run. Warm your body up, okay? Don't get injured, okay? Warm up, okay? Please warm up. But that was my full MMA workout for tonight. Very useful, very active. I got, I, I came out here, got it done. Not too much, not too little. We had some fun. We also took it very serious. So we're out here. So I can tell it's nighttime, so I'm walking back home right now. Hope you all have a good night. Stay safe. I love y'all. Peace out.